A little while back, Laravel added a contains method to its string helper set. Now we have a string doesn't contain. Let's go ahead and review both of them just in case you haven't seen either. And let's see what they do. Okay, so it's going to be pretty obvious, but let's go ahead and create out a string here. And uh, let's just say something like, oh, I love cats. Let's go ahead and die dump and we'll test out the string contains first. Now we can either use this using the string helper directly from support, which acts kind of like a facade where we can do something like contains. And then we can pass in the string that we want to look for, the haystack, and then a needles, which could either be an array of strings or just a single string. So if we just go ahead and say cat, for example, and we open this up, sure enough, we get true. So this is one way of using it. Another way of using the string helper, which is what I prefer, just so I don't have to pull in an, an additional namespace here, is just using the string function, which just does exactly what you would expect. It goes ahead and returns whatever you are trying to call on that base string class. Okay, so we kind of get how a contains method works. Now we have a doesn't contain method. So obviously if we wanted to check before if a string didn't contain something, we would have to negate it with doesn't and we would obviously get a false here. Now we can go ahead and change this up to use doesn't contain. So let's go ahead and check it out. Doesn't contain and a string. So obviously this is going to be false because it does contain cat. Let's build a tiny example out with this. So let's go ahead and say if the string doesn't contain the word cat anywhere, we're going to go ahead and just die dump here. So string must contain cat. Okay, let's get rid of this. We'll go over and just take a look here and we don't get anything. But if we change this over to I love dogs, then of course, we're going to see that issue. So a really simple one. But obviously, when you working with strings having both of these methods is super helpful and it obviously reads a lot better and makes your code look a little bit clearer